You're gonna see some serious shit. Thing I bought for today is a Miku figure. It only cost me $34. I think that's that is so worth it. That is so worth it. I'll show you guys. Let me get it out right now. Also, the person that I got the Pom Pom Purin plush from because my bag was destroyed, they gave me a new one. This everybody's here so sweet. And uh, yeah, this is the figure I got. She looks absolutely stunning. She looks so pretty. Even though I would have loved to have a version of this of Luca. But Mika works too. I just, the moment I saw this figurine, I was like, okay, I gotta have it. It, it. It's totally would look nice in my room. It like, like I don't really have any anime figures besides uh, the little Mephisto one, like this one right here. So yeah, getting this, totally worth it. So yeah, let's continue having fun, shall we? Are you serious um, right now? Why the hell are, are, are all these Same. proper sexy men wearing these suits? I'm like, suits are sexy. If, this isn't me talking, okay? This isn't my personal preferences being put on display here. It's a fact. Um, and if you're sitting there going like, I've never looked good in a suit. Were you wearing the right suit? Were you wearing a tailored suit? Everyone looks good in a suit, okay? You think Ice King had any game before, like, the Simon episode? And, like, all of a sudden, there was all these fangirls? No. No, it wasn't, okay? And also, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Next thing oh. we need to talk about the sad evil chart. Uh, I need to update this what in the at some point. That's too cool. So, a character is allowed to be so evil so long as they are equally sad. So what you want to do is you want to get as close to the Zuko redemption line as possible. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> um, that's, that's the sweet spot where, where you're allowed to be, get away with some really nasty shit. Um, so we have Noe here from Case Study of Anitas. He's got a sad backstory. He's never done a bad thing ever in his life. Um, so he's, he's not sexy. He's hot. He's cute. He's adorable. He's not sexy. Then we've got uh, Emperor Bellows up there oh. in the corner. Um, <laughs> and I know like some of you are thinking, like, why would anyone ever consider Bellows to be sexy? There were murmurings. <laughs> there were murmurings in the fandom when he first got his mask off, and people were like, oh, well, maybe, you know, I'm going to give him a hot little chance here. And then his backstory <laughs> came out, and they were like, no, no, kill the fucker. Um, <laughs> then we've got the Nowhere King from Centaur World. Uh, he's, he's got a sad backstory. It's a pretty sad backstory. Doesn't excuse the genocide, so uh, he's not sexy. <laughs>
for some time before the Tumblr Sexy Man panel, which you guys already saw, I played a couple rounds of Smash Brothers with Brewster. He had Enderman for his main, I was Manny Peach, I beat him the first round, we played with the same characters for the second round, we changed up characters, I was playing Kirby, he was playing Ice Climbers, I won as Kirby for the final round. Maybe we're gonna do this again tomorrow, I have no idea. So yeah, crazy day, had a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see what tomorrow has to offer. And Sunday. My first panel tomorrow morning is Childhood Horrors. So that means if the Coachman or Judge Doom get mentioned, I will freak out. Because I was afraid of both of them when I was a kid. So yeah, two more days to go. Let's keep the fun going. See you all in the next vlog video. Peace out. Love you all. Bye!